Other big story tonight, this school bus crash that sent dozens of children to the hospital. A Channel 2 viewer sent us this video of the aftermath of that crash. It happened in Cleveland, right off FM 1010 and Highway 105. Our Keith Garvin is there tonight. Keith is joining us live. Keith, were any of these children seriously hurt? Bill, Dominic, thankfully, no serious injuries, but this happened on what was just the second day of classes for these students after returning from the Christmas break. Police say that bad driving conditions and a previous traffic incident are what led them and their driver to this emergency hospital. The tracks on the side of this Liberty County Road look harmless enough, but they're the result of a school bus accident that sent 65 students and their driver to the Cleveland Emergency Hospital. A lot of them were just traumatized and, and scared by, by what, it, what had occurred. This video from a Channel 2 viewer shows the aftermath of what Cleveland ISD police say occurred around 4 o'clock Wednesday afternoon. They say the bus filled with fourth and fifth graders from East Side Intermediate School was traveling on FM 1010 near Highway 105. That's when, according to investigators, the driver swerved to avoid two other vehicles that had been involved in a separate incident. With all the heavy rains, uh, with all the mud on each side of the road out there, uh, the, he just lost control on, on the mud and the, uh, the bus went into the ditch. The bus wound up partially on its right side in that ditch. Emergency agencies from several different departments converged on the scene to eventually transport the students and their driver here to the hospital. Ten were admitted for further examination. Thankfully, there were no major injuries, just a lot of frayed emotions amongst the students and their parents alike. We're just very, very fortunate. Uh, this could have been much worse, and, and we're just grateful that everybody's going home tonight. And again, all those students were from East Side Intermediate School. Most of them should be able to return to school either tomorrow or later in the week. Reporting live from Cleveland, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right.